Hey there ninjas, this is Martin and in this video I'm going to be showing you my one of my strategies when it comes to keyword research. Now the tool that I'm going to be using is Keyword Chef and I will put a link in the description so if you do use it, um, it is an affiliate link but I do appreciate the support. One of the great things about Keyword Chef is that it helps your site in two ways. The first is that it helps to find topical relevant content for your website so it gives you some really good content ideas but it's also good at finding keywords that are a lot easier to rank for so therefore if your site is relatively new and you don't have that trust built up yet then it's a great way of finding content ideas that you'll make it a lot easier to rank for so like i said this is a tool that i use on a regular basis when coming up with content ideas for my website as an example one of the pieces of content that i published in may i followed this exact same process and now the site is ranked in the top three positions so let's get to the laptop and i'll show you the process Right, so here we are on Keyword Chef. So this is the screen we get to when we log in. And you can see your credits up here, and it's basically one credit per keyword. Um, and cost-wise, it's pretty reasonable, to be fair. Um, let me just put it up. So starters $20, that gives you 1,200 credits. Um, $100 gives you 10,000 credits and $250 gives you 50,000 credits. So you can obviously see that you save money the, the more credits you buy. Um, I would start off with the, the starter package, to be honest. Normally, I will go for the starter package and just continually add um, star packages to it. Um, I've spent the $100 a couple of times, but normally this is for, for when I've got a really big project or um, I need to find keywords in a, a really competitive niche. Um, otherwise, I stick with the, the 1,200 credits. Um, so let's get back here. Um, so it's really easy to use. You can see your reports here. So if you've already run reports, you just click on here. Um, when you're actually looking for keywords, then we'll do them here now. Wildcard basically means you put in the, the seed keyword here and then you put in the, the star or the asterisk and that will just get all of the keywords. Um, or you can do the drop down and basically pick the, the type of keywords that you want, whether it's questions, best XYZ, comparison kind of keywords, how to, most alternatives and ideas. Most of the time I stick to wildcard. Um, or I will also look for questions and how to's if I'm looking for um, more supporting content. So I'm going to go for some really competitive terms just to show how good this is at potentially finding um, low competition options. So I'm going to go for testosterone and we're going to do that as a wild card, first of all, and we're going to search. So here we go, we've got the result and we can see exact match where it's basically got the testosterone or the main keyword at the start of the phrase. Um, we've got 583 or the exact plus similar, we have um, 1,336. And that basically includes the exact match term with the testosterone at the front, but then it also has um, additional search terms such as, you know, the how to's and, and the questions and whatnot. So we're going to go for that one because that's going to give us more choices. So what we do is we just click on get keywords. And this will just get as an entire list of all of those keywords. And as you can see, it's just used up the, the credits out of the actual balance. Um, so this can take a little bit of time, obviously depending on how big the keyword list is. So here we have the keyword report and you can see the keyword here. We've then got the search volume. So it's got an average high and low. Um, now, this is spread over a 12 month period. So obviously, if a keyword is trending a certain time of the year, then that's naturally going to be higher at that point than when it's potentially on its um, low season, then it's going to be a bit lower. So I always go for average. This basically just averages it out throughout the year, which I think gives you a bit more of a, an accurate look at the, the actual volume. Um, now, what I would do next is I would click get all SERPs. 
And what this basically does, it gets a lot more information based on that keyword and the, the position in it in the SERPs and how competitive that keyword potentially is. So this can take a little bit of time. So we're just going to leave this running and then come back to it. So that's just analyzed all of the keywords. And you'll notice that we now have this thing under SERP, which basically gives a score to that keyword. And it kind of highlights how many sites are ranking within the top 10 for this keyword that are potentially easy sites to beat. So for example, if we look at this one, we can see that there's seven sites that are potentially easy to beat with um, really optimized content. And you can see that that's Reddit, it's a forum, a forum, a forum. There's a forum here, a forum there, a forum there, a video. So this is potentially a keyword that we could um, target and create a good bit of content and potentially easily outrank all of these because they're not um, necessarily optimized for this keyword. So the next thing that I like to do is actually just search for domains. So I'm going to click on domains here. And what this does is it searches for all of the domains that have content ranking for those keywords. And it initially puts these up in green. It initially puts these as these are typically easier sites that you can outrank because they're normally um, Q&A style sites. So I'll always look at Quora, Reddit, um, and normally Facebook as well, but all of these are pretty good to, to look at. So what we'll do is if we click on Quora, and then I will search the volumes to the highest to the lowest, so we'll do that. Um, and we can see here, the keyword does testosterone make you taller. It gets a search volume of 4,400. It's position four. Um, well, the, the Quora article is position four. So potentially that could be quite a relatively easy piece of content to rank for. Um, we've then got things like um, how long does it take for Clomid to increase testosterone? Um, again, that's position four. We have a Quora article here, position one, um, how to grow facial hair without testosterone. Even though it's not um, specifically targeting testosterone boosters, um, it is related to the niche of testosterone. So that might be a, an option. Um, again, grow facial hair without testosterone. Um, we also have quite a lot of position twos, fives. Um, so there's definitely a lot of options here. Um, so here we go. This is potentially a good one. Testosterone cycle for beginners. Um, can you build muscle with low testosterone? So again, that could be a, a good, good option. Um, so what I would always do is I will go through these results and use these as content planning for my website for pieces of content that I'm going to rank or try and rank for. Um, now, I don't tend to pay much attention to the search volume um, to some degree because you're trying to build a, if we're, if we're building a testosterone boosting website, for instance, we're trying to show that we have authority within that niche. So therefore you want a lot of topical relevant content. Um, so you want a lot of content based around testosterone. Um, and even these search volumes, even those, you know, these articles are getting to this term, you know, to this tool, zero keywords, it still helps to build that topical relevance around the site and that expertise. So I would still be building out content that is relevant and related to the site, even though the search volume might be lower. Um, having said that as well, is that these volumes tend to be estimates, just like with all keyword tools, they are estimates. So even though this says that it's getting zero volume, there is still a good chance that you will get search traffic from it. Um, so I would not discount the, the, the low volume keywords. Um, and in fact, a lot of affiliates do discount the low volume keywords and therefore they tend to be a lot easier for you to um, rank for. 
Um, so I just wanted to show this niche as it is a very competitive niche, fitness, health, it's all very competitive. Um, it works just as well with other niches as well. So if I go into my reports and let's pull up, um, let's have a look at one. So let's pull up archery. So here we have um, how to learn archery, how to make an archery target. Um, obviously you've got the, the search volumes here. Um, if we get all SERPs, okay. Um, this is a how to keyword list. So I've not gone um, for the wildcard. This is just how to terms. Um, so this is purely building up that topical relevance for an archery website. Here we go. So let's update and click to refresh. And we will go to domains. And we have Quora again here, or we have Reddit. So Reddit's got quite a few. Let's search volume. How to practice archery at home. That could potentially be a really good one. Um, how to win archery. How to get into Olympics for archery. Teach yourself archery. Um, Quora, um, how to learn archery. So straight away there is a potentially a good piece of content to write. Um, let's do one more. Let's have a look at Ventamine. So this is obviously weight loss. So again, Quora total volume 4,890. So that's not too bad. So we'll just have a look at that and see what kind of questions we've got. Uh, again, search volume highest. So is Ventamine a narcotic? Um, how much weight can you lose with Ventamine? Is Ventamine like Adderall? Can you take Ventamine while breastfeeding? How much weight can you lose on Ventamine? So again, there's a lot of keywords here that are typically easier to rank for because they have sites that are not optimized within this niche and the actual content on the, the results is not going to be optimized either. So these typically tend to be easier to rank for. Um, this one, Quora's position number one, so can fentamine cause gas and bloating? Again, that could be a really good term to write a piece of supporting content on, which then links through to related content on the site and also links through to a best fat burners, best fentamine kind of page. So there you have it, a really quick and easy way of building content ideas that are relevant to your niche, as well as finding keywords that are low competition and a lot easier for you to rank for. Hopefully you found that useful. Please do feel free to comment below. And if you did like it, please hit the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.